Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan. Welcome back to The Witcher 3. It's our blind playthrough. It's episode 124. Happy Monday. I hope you enjoyed your little weekend break. Uh, I certainly did, but I also missed you, and I missed The Witcher. And so we're back. Hey, we're in the middle of the... Old, I mean, we're in at the end of, I think. The Of Swords and Dumplings quest. Trying to get Hattori, the legendary sword maker, back on his grind, you know? Trying to get the man back in the in the workshop making swords and i think we succeeded oh i have a level up holy shit it's been a while since we've had one of these i did not realize this during the last episode uh okay well we have all of the levels of puppet that we could use um uh there's just this is axie intensity here is just increasing Two opponents can be influenced by X. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, interesting. We got all of the levels of Axie that I think we want. Uh, I believe, if I'm reading this menu correctly, that these are the... The, the this one right here, Puppet, is the final level of dialogue options. And I wanted to unlock all the dialogue options that you could get from Axie. So, that's interesting. Um... Uh, active shield. Hold up. We've been using Quinn more often. Interesting. Okay. Currently, we have a little bit of exploding shield. Uh, active shield. There's an alternate sign mode that creates an active shield. Maintaining it and blocking attacks drains stamina, but damage absorbed by the shield restore player restores player vitality. Huh. I kind of want to try that. And I can put it on right here. Oh, shit. I just clicked the wrong button. Fuck. I didn't realize where that was. Put you there. Put you, you right here. There we go. Okay. So now my Quinn should be... I can't wait to try that out. Interesting. This is alternate sign mode, though, so I'm a little bit like... Oh, you can meditate from this screen. Huh. Wow. Uh, interested to see exactly how that goes. Maybe I have to hold the button? Yeah! Look at that! Very cool! Wow! That just said, also, you've unlocked Master Sword uh, crafting. So let's go back to Hattori and see what that's about. He promised me a sword. I want to see what he made. God, it is rainy and miserable here. Hattori, my friend. Hello. Greetings, Ibeer. Geralt, you return safe and sound. I do. You doing all right? Never better. Once Van Horn had finally left, Cleaver lost interest in swordsmiths. I can forge swords again without fear of my workshop going up in flames. I love it. Glad to hear it. So happy for you. You've no notion how glad I am. I have no need of Sucrus anymore and can devote myself to what I truly love. I thank you, Witcher. I can devote myself to what I truly love, making dumplings. I mean, the sword stuff. Uh, can you work in peace? So now can you craft me something extraordinary? Naturally. It is what we agreed. Give me a few days, then come by for your new sword. Hell yeah. Uh, return to Tori later. So, welcome to Geralt, uh, meditating for a long-ass time. <laughs> We're gonna probably do two full days of meditation. And, uh, and, and see what happens. I know there's, like, lots going on with the world right now for, for Geralt and, and the game. Uh, that's 5 a.m. Shit, I should have gone a little bit higher than that. You know, series in in danger, sort of at this moment. Um, the the forces of many different political rivalries are are clashing. Uh, but I got time to meditate for a sword, yeah. Greetings, Ibeer. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? You got a sword? My sword ready yet? It is. Hey. Behold and admire. A sword to outshine the sun came us. out. 
A beam of light hits my new sword. Well, this was worth the wait. Thank you, Ibeer. It is I who thank you for everything. I gotta see this thing. Blade from the bits. I'm gonna take a look at that in a second. Blade from the bits. Hey, can I buy some stuff from you? What do you have on offer? What do you have on offer? Um, the adversary is a silver sword. So what is this blade of the bits that I just got? Blade from the bits. Ah, oh, shit. It's less valuable than the stuff that I currently have. That sucks. Damn it. Less, less dangerous. Less damage. Ah, oh, that's always a bummer. Um, I'm sure it's cool as hell, though. Sure that it's cool as hell. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to sell you. You have 1,800. I don't know that I really need to worry about money these days, but I'll, uh, I'll sell you some stuff just to make it back, you know? Let's sort of clear my inventory a little bit. Sell the Gildorf sword. Um, you have a silver sword here, but I'm using my Witcher stuff. Hmm. I'm using my Witcher stuff and I'm enjoying it. Well-preserved notes by Hieronymus on the Witcher Elga. Done. What's this one? Worn out and faded notes by Hieronymus on the Witcher Elgar. Hieronymus is the wolf school gear person, right? Edwin Greeliff's fourth map. There's some Witcher gear. Cool, cool, cool. Tons of runestones and some dumplings. That's so funny. Are they good? Honestly? Thanks for your service. I'm going to buy 20 dumplings from you. Listen, would you craft something for me? Also, you can craft stuff, so that's apparently cool. Would you happen to repair all of my equipped for 145? Thank you very much. Uh, let's take a look at this crafting. I don't know exactly how this works. Um, master crafted silver sword. Cool. Or sign. Let's see. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <clears throat> so I don't know exactly how this master crafting stuff works. Uh, I'm probably going to be wrong so when long. I say this right now. But here is my sort of idea about how it works. And I'm pro again, I'm probably wrong. Uh, but I think for now, let me stay wrong because I'm interested enough in Witcher in in the treasure hunt and stuff that uh for now for now if I'm incorrect, let's keep this let's keep this uh blind and and uh, keep me wrong. Uh, I think what happens is in some of the like further parts of these of these different diagram of these different uh quests like this one. This is part four of the Wolf School Gear Upgrade Diagram. You get more and more upgraded, uh, like enhanced, superior, etc. So let's take a look at, that was Gauntlet. Shit, what was that? Gauntlet from, Gauntlet from Wolf School, right? Is, is this one? Yeah, okay. There's also this one, which is part six. Um, so gauntlet from wolf school. That means I should have a diagram for something pretty far. It's superior, I think. Okay. So I think what I have Must be upgraded to Grand Master level to unlock bonuses. I'm guessing if I did a bunch of... I'm guessing if I did a bunch of treasure hunts for one school, I would get, for instance, Wolven Gauntlets, which then get made into, like, Enhanced Wolven Gauntlets, which then get made into Superior Wolven Gauntlets, maybe Master, and then maybe Grand Master, something like that. And then once I'm there, you get a bunch of, a bunch of extra bonuses. Um, cool. Which, which would, from a game design perspective, incentivize you to re to uh, like do all of the maps and treasure hunts for one school, if you really liked one piece of armor, 
make them absolutely awesome, get them absolutely upgraded all the way, and then you get all of these extra bonuses. That's, I think, how it works. And now that I have a Tori, I think I can actually make the final level of that. I can have him make the final level of that stuff. That is probably a, a slightly flawed perspective, but that's what I got so far. Uh, hey, we have some quest items that I just paid for, so let's go ahead and read these, because why not, right? Um, Hieronymus on the Witcher Elgar. For safekeeping, Elgar hid his improvements to the school, the wolf's equipment in multiple locations. One set he hid in an underwater cave beneath a castle in central Velen. That sounds like underneath the Baron, the Baron's place. Maybe I'm wrong. Another he left in a cave to the south of Oxenfurt. A third he placed in the Elven Ruins on a small isle in southern Velen. Uh, Elven Ruins, sunken ship, hide out to the south of Oxenfurt. Edwin Greeliff's fourth map. Map ain't worth shit. Only thing I found were some griffin symbols scratched on the walls. Can't see how we're go not going. Can see we're not going to get anything worth near enough to pay back the debts that Dandy Doctor wrapped up with, racked up with us. Good thing he's worm food now. Maybe it could be worthwhile to loot that tomb under Crookback Hills. Hey, that's a uh, that's a, a place name I haven't heard in a while. Crookback Hills. I doubt our doctor friend would have wasted his time just running around looking for primitive drawings. There's got to be some treasure about. Okay, so let's see what quest that got us. Wolf skill gear, wolf school gear upgrade part one, part five, and then wolf school part five. I forgot you guys can't see this stuff. Griffin school part four. Cool. Well, hey, that's gonna be very useful for the future. Um, we're not quite there yet, but. Someday that's going to be useful for the future. So, uh, what do we want to do now? Well, that's a great question. That's a great question. I think it is probably time to head to Skellige and recruit some help. Um, in the meantime, I'm quickly taking a look at these different quests. Mm, I'm pretty sure it's in the heart of the woods that has come really highly recommended as a, uh, as a quest. You know what the beauty of uh, recording on my computer right here is that I can actually just check. Um... In the heart of the woods, shout out to uh, Roach, Roch, I'm pro Rock. I'm probably saying your name incorrectly. Uh, thank you for uh, so politely and nicely suggesting a couple different times that I should do in the heart of the woods. Uh, okay, we're going to go to Skellige in, in the hopes of just recruiting some help for myself, right? Ermian, Croc, and Saris. However, what we're actually going to be doing... He's also doing at least one Witcher quest. Uh, where's this fucking fast travel thing? I should just take a look on the map. Uh, there. Yep, I should just follow the quest marker. Duh, that's what I should do. All right. Yeah, I don't know that we have a ton. It feels like we were just at Skellige, right? Like, I don't know that we have a ton that I want to do still. On Skellige? Truly feels like we were just there. But, uh, we didn't do a lot of Witcher contracts there. And uh, I read this comment from, again, I'm mispronouncing your name, I'm sure. Uh, Rock. But, um, but, so in the heart of the woods is here outside of Fairlund? which is probably uh, this other clan's uh, area, but I don't know that for a fact. Let's go there, though. The curse that held Uma proved hard Let's to take a but and the trip over to Skellige. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be Saunter not over man, to Skellige. But elf, and an elven sage at that. Avalach, for this was his name, was the elven mage who had helped Siri. The other thing we could do while we're here. hidden her away. Is win some fist fights. <laughs> I want to do that eventually. I think the problem is they're level thirty, 
The the fist fights on Skellige, uh the fist fight quest are Yeah, level 30. I don't feel prepared for that. Not at all. Uh this just says talk to Sven about the contract on the Woodland Spirit. That's all it says. Got some Skelligers here. I don't even know that I've ever been to this town. This is Klanon Crate uh, area. We have a merchant Greetings. here. Greetings. You're in luck. Yesterday, Iowalf wrapped us as long ship sailed into port, so we've got fresh goods for you. Great. Any uh, Gwent cards in that? Let me see what Hotspur brought in. List of things? No? Damn it. Uh, okay. Well, while I am here, I think I will just uh, sell some shit real quick. Uh, because I need to. Stamina, less good, less good. And less good. And that's about all that you have. Our base inventory uh, weight is getting up there, and I want to kind of lower that a little bit if I can. Sure, I guess we'll get rid of some hides. And some rotting flesh for sure. Mug, candelabrum, ashes, all the shit that I literally never have any reason to grab. Cool. Uh, farewell, sir. So long. Thank you, good merchant. Sven, where are you? This way, apparently. I told them my oh, hello. Enter the wood. Why do you want to anyway? We're the bandits that lurk in the blackberries. To Don't enter the wood. This guy said blackberries are the problem. Or he wanted. Okay, that's all it says. Somebody entered the wood. They were blackberries. Blackberries, as they say. We've offended him, Sven. Oh shit! The woodland spirit seeks revenge. Oh god! This here is him saying we've strayed from the old paths. Offended him? The monster's killed five already. He doesn't give a rat's arse about paths or tracks or me or you. He's a plowing beast from the plowing forest. Split his ribcage. A strong one, this spirit of yours. That's so. And who might you be? Who might you be? Well, you know, you're king, queen, Saris. I'm the person who put her on the throne. I feel like maybe you should know who the fuck I am. Uh, I'm a problem solver. I <laughs> solve problems. And if we can agree terms, I can solve yours. He's a witcher. A killer for hire. This village is home to decent folk only. You won't find any work here. Sure about that? Beast that did this, it's aggressive and incredibly strong. I can help you for a price. I like this man. Play your trade, Witcher. I believe we will agree terms. Okay. Um, interesting. I'm not wanted here, which is always my my an interesting part of a Witcher quest. I'm not wanted here. It makes me think twice about everything that I'm doing on the off chance that I'll, like, offend or um, that Geralt will offend. Or that... I'll accidentally, like, cross some sort of taboo. What do the other victims' bodies look like? Birds pecked apart his entrails. And here, tooth marks. A large dog. A wolf, maybe. This the way it always kills? Only cowards. True warriors. Men with the hearts of predators. The spirit grants them an honorable death. Predators. Okay. Who's the woodland spirit? Who or what is this woodland spirit? Tell you what, it's not any of your concern. It's a common beast. Murders any man who ventures into its territory. Man. Exhaustive as descriptions go. What does this spirit look like? <laughs> Anyone seen it for themselves? No man alive has. Great. Really helpful, all of you. Uh, why is the spirit out for revenge? What did you guys do to piss it off, supposedly? You said the creature wants revenge. Why? For what? Our forefathers hunted with spear and knife. This pleased the woodland spirit. He let us live in peace. We 
We never knew hunger. He killed back then too. He's always killed. How many lads died trying to become hunters? Now, since our hunters died in the war, the beasts turned even more bloodthirsty. We are uncreate. What others buy with gold, we buy with our lifeblood. We are slaves to fear spread by blind fools like you. These woods are ours. High time we put an end to this beast. You know what's interesting? The person in the background who has a hood up and has stayed quiet the whole time. Um, I don't know that this is human work, but it is just like if a a person was being a, a little bit of sus, sus suspicion was being thrown on them, that might be the person. Um, okay, so we got an old generation, a new generation. We've got a... He says the way things are happening now ain't like the old good old days. He being the guy on the left. Um, when things were better, a better time. And the guy on the right says your bullshit nostalgia and for the past and your fear mongering for the present isn't helping us at all. We got some generational headbutting here. I've heard enough. You've got a monster problem, that's clear. Just not sure you want it solved. Oh, we do. Come see me. We'll One figure us does. a fair price for the beast's head. Sven does. Our little talk while I looked over the corpse? Not nearly enough. Need to look around, figure out what I'm up against. Be not rash, killer. It's not too late to bring back the old ways. I'll decide what to do. But start collecting coin, just in <laughs> case. Harold's ready to get paid. This guy. This elder right here. This elder with his hood up. He's looking like Strider. Strider in the end, you know? Alright. Don't you think I'll fall at your feet just because you killed a giant? <laughs> I love that my reputation follows me now. Examine the tracks in the wood using your witcher senses and find out what's killing the villagers of Fairland. Oh, buddy. Got a trail to follow. Wonder where it leads. I can't tell what those are. They look like they have talons on the front, maybe? Sharp parts on the front? Trail to follow. I wonder where it leads. I don't know. But let's save before we get murdered by some beastie. Thin and deep cuts. Not unlike a razor. A dog? Oh, it's a dog. Shit. Thin and deep. Wait, is that what that just said? Thin and deep? I understand. Thin whip. Deep cut. Uh, okay. Hmm. Then, uh, over there, it's a little sketchy. Okay. Great, let's go see what this is. Oh, something's Alan. Smashed bones. That takes strength. No point in trying to parry its blows. Sounds to me like a Quinn kind of situation. More than a... What are all these dogs, and why are they fucking mad at me? Are those dogs? What the hell is that? Oh, that's a bear. Oh, I whiff. Come here, bear. Oh, you want to run away? Okay. No, now you're coming. All right, great. Listen, I'm in combat. I would love to be out of combat here. Just let me get a quick kill in. And then I can go back to my work. Great, thank you. Thanks very much. Okay. We're about to be out of the uh, water phase of this game. For so long, water has been the item we have used to gain vitality back. And we're just about done with it. Uh, we almost have none left. Only five. Now those are wolves. Okay. Oh, and there's marks. All kinds of marks over here. Okay. A white wolf. Hey, that's me. Ah! Ah! Ugly bastard. Okay. Damn. Oh god. One one more. There we go. Now this one. 
You know what? We'll try. Check this out. Oh, that didn't work. Vitality gained. Vitality gained. That's very cool. I love a good healing. Healing mechanic. Oh, man. Good healing mechanic. All right, so there were steps right through here. But obviously, the other thing is that there were freaking marks on all these stones. Right? They were, they were just, yeah, over there. Sharpened its claws, or just marked off its territory. Leshen. Male. Very old. Leshen. Damn it. Probably marked one of the villagers. Male Leshen. Why does that name sound familiar? Hmm. Oh! Okay. This is what we fought. The crones, like, summoned one of these, yeah? A male Leshen. Okay. Interesting. Leshens dwell in dense primeval woods, fiercely territorial creatures. They hunt with stealth and cunning as their only companions. They use their inborn magic to control the plants and animals within their territory, like some wolves, maybe some bears. When stalking them, half the battle is merely getting near enough to strike. Leshens old enough to earn the appellation ancient wield advanced skills and tactics that make them particularly dangerous. We never hunt in these woods. Never. Even if it means the whole village stars, says Mulliver. The woodland spirit appears to be a version of that. Oh, we got a lot of flavor text here. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to read that yet. That appeared to have some information about the town. And I'm not going to read just yet. Said something about the marked person, and I want to I want to go to the town first before I do that. But remind me. By remind me, I mean I'll I'll try and remind myself, and we'll read it when we get back. It says talk to Harold, Ors, and Sven about the lesson. We'll go do that. We'll go do that. Oh, look at that! That was pretty. The way the light shifted there. Okay. Hey Harold, you old bump on a log. Killing the ice giant. Hey, you're the one who. Oh wait, this guy talks. Weren't easy, eh? Hmm. Eh? Hmm. Didn't have many friends, did he? Folk aren't willing to look at this kind of death today, but in the past, I remember, I was just a lad, Lugos Herlip. Led a raid on our village. Found nothing but silence and fog. I could barely make out my pa and my uncles lying in wait behind the trees. I remember how they hunted down one warrior after another, and once they surrounded Hare Lip himself, well, I believe he'd rather have faced the woodland spirit. Your spirit is a very old lesson. He's dangerous, but I should be able to deal with him. Rid us of him, yet he's what made us invincible. Turned us into great warriors. Invincible? That sounds a little bit like, uh... It sounds a little bit like the magic of memory. <laughs> More than an actual fact. Maybe, I mean, maybe you guys have all been invincible, actually. And maybe it has added a little bit of... of something special to the way your warriors have fought, but... Your spirit's a monster, plain and simple. Maybe I wasn't clear. The woodland spirit is a monster. Cut with a sword, he'll bleed and die. Like you, like me. He's much more. Thanks to him, the woods team with game, and our women bear strong babes. The power of the woodland spirit makes us the best hunters in the isles. True, not every lad who sets out to be a hunter survives the sacred ritual. But aren't witchers made at similar cost? I'm sorry, you mistake me for a person who agrees with the way that witchers are made. <laughs> Hold up, sorry, you, you got the wrong idea who I am. 
Back by the tree, you said you know another way to stop the Leshen. We must return to the old path. Restore the old ways. Roam the woods with knife and spear. Fight on even terms and prove our valor. That would please him. Our ancestors placed the Covenant Stone in the woods, laid sacrifices of prized game on it, and thus made a pact do as they did. Go south along the brook, submit to the trial by burning a sacrifice of wolves' hearts on the sacred spot. Interesting. Haven't decided what to do yet. Try to kill the woodland spirit, and you'll bring his wrath upon us all? First off, I think I would kill him. But, uh, I think what I would probably do is kill him. And Gotta maybe that would also so long. bring some wrath, but... Damn. I'm upset. This game's gonna do it. This game's gonna make me make me have all kinds of qualms about what to choose here. Tired, huh? That was well said. Where Harold is Harold is like uh I mean I have I have qualms about Harold's perspective there. Um I don't know that like <laughs> I don't know a lot of things, unfortunately, and I don't think I'm, there's going to be a way to find this information, but I don't know that the woodland spirit is the thing that's making your babes strong. I don't know for sure that the woodland spirit is actually pissed that you hunt with things other than knives and spears. I don't know that in general, the people of this town would pick themselves to continue following the old ways, or if just you would, Harold. On the other hand, Harold did a very good job persuading me. It was a, it was a A minus persuasive essay, you know. It had all the points, organized well. Um, now we need to see what Sven says. I'm trying to be aware too of my of my biases, and I think who I am and oh, Sven's getting flirted with. Holy shit, Hilda is. Hilda. Hey there. Hilda. Hmm? Can you tell me about my man Smith hey Sven? There. You trust him? Apparently. I'm trying to be aware of my own biases here too, which I think would lead me more towards being a uh, fuck your old ways kind of person, but when to look at the I don't tracks know. in the woods. Spirit sure knows how to make an impression on intruders. Told you. He likes killing. Almost certain we're dealing with an old lesson. An ordinary beast then. Just as I said. Not so ordinary? Not so ordinary. Monster like that's a serious threat to the village. And to me, if you decide to hire me. Oh, don't you fret. We'll have the gold. Just one small problem. The Leshen's marked one of you. As long as that individual lives near its domain, the beast can't be killed. Not completely. Sooner or later, it'll be reborn. Must be one of the elders. Mm. Harold, I'm sure of it. You heard him. Words aren't enough. Gotta find the mark my way. <sighs> Folk won't believe you. They'd never listen to an outsider accusing one of their own. But you find the marked one, and I'll handle the rest. Gotta use my senses. Find the one marked by the woodland spirit. This has a complicated wrinkle. This adds a complicated wrinkle. May your axe never crumble. Do you think it's Hilda? Uh, that would be my guess right now. Porridge again, Chad. We could stand to serve some meat. My guess would be Hilda based on uh Although it could be somebody old as well. I so the other thing, this is just good writing, by the way. This is incredible writing. The other thing that's important to notice is how quickly Sven was like, it's one of the elder people, for sure. It's one of the elder people for sure. Uh, Sven has the young, brash, very like cocksure attitude, which doesn't make me necessarily more likely to trust him. The same way that Harold's got the uh, the old ways were so good, sort of uh, nostalgia that doesn't make me very likely to trust him either. All right, so a bit inside of there. I think what I'm gonna do. I don't know specifically what I'm going to choose just yet. 
But I'm having fun running around seeing if I can sense who it is without doing anything more. Um, like, I don't know that I actually have to decide what to do. Hold up, is there anybody over here? No. Some horn, horn, horn wart, though. I love a good horn wart. This is a. I can see why this quest is. Already, I can see why this quest was recommended. It is very well written, and I feel very conflicted. Talk to boy, talk to girl, talk to this person. I can see why it comes recommended. Was that conversation outside? I think it was. But he was just saying something. He saved us from the giant. I did. I tried anyways. I'll be a priestess when I grow up. Do need any help, uncle? I'll work hard all day for a bowl of I'll be a priestess when I grow up. I don't need a stinky husband. That's, that's the attitude. Um, okay. So I haven't found anybody yet. What is this thing? Greetings. Old woman, what do you got here? Can I loot what it? Can one say? Oh, is that a Oh, never mind. It's just a Hello friend. Just a set of shells. All right. Vagrant. Vagrant. Who called me that? You? Shield maiden. All right. Well, I haven't seen uh anybody yet. From that is like marked or anything. Um. Donar only turned Whoa, our highest teacher song. after he violated huh. the priestess. I wonder if I'm missing he something or That's what. if I uh oh hello Bjorn you have a name. I beg you, Mondra, stop pestering me with this confounded cough. Bjorn, do you talk? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't appear to be anything in here. I wonder what's happening here. You're just the blacksmith. There's Hilda. Hilda. Chosen the girl. Hold it, damn it. Hold it. I wonder what the right call here is. Here's the thing. I really don't know how to feel here. I really don't think that living alongside the Leshen is necessarily a great idea long term. Based on the one Leshen that I saw before, maybe you personally have a different, and frankly, it shouldn't be my place to decide this. But here's the deal. This is what makes this game fun. It shouldn't be my place to decide the future of the village here. Uh, and yet, you hired me for a thing which is going to maybe decide the future of the village. Uh, I don't have a, I have a feeling I'm not going to feel particularly rock solid either way about my decision. I'm going to go uh, talk to Sven. I'm going to see if Sven hearing who the marked is changes his opinion. We'll see. So, find out who's mates with the beast? It's not intentional. The marked individual has no idea. All other people you are here? You know the Shit. elders like I do. Every last one of them codgers would surrender his mother to please the monster. A low point in mints and oh, words. No. Said yourself, the monster's helper must die first. He's loud, right? Like, his volume is loud, right? Just to clarify, Sven. I feel like he's shouting at me. Uh, Here's the problem. Sven's got such a big fucking mouth and such a strong opinion that he is correct. And he's really not going to like my words here. There's also other people around. So I'm a little bit worried we're going to be starting a witch hunt. You could exile the marked one. No one needs to die. The marked one should leave the village. That's enough. If they never return, the lesson will never be reborn. Did you hear what the witcher said? No. We've got to banish God the elders to have it. peace for all time. It's not one of the elders. It's not one of the elders. Who then? The woman you were talking to. We must banish her. 
Said so yourself. But she's one of us. For the good of the village, Sven. Well. We still have an option. Drive her out. Make sure she knows she's not to return. Nope. Ever. Damn it. You won't go with her, Sven? Not going with her? Funny. Thought you cared for her. Tend to your own affairs and leave me to mine. I did what I had to do. Now it's your turn. <laughs> well, well, well. Oh, Sven, you dummy. <laughs> it's not even that Sven is dumb. It's just that Sven... How old do you think Sven is in this game? I'll tell you what. I don't know how old Sven is right now. I don't know what his age is. Uh... God, he reminds me of myself when I was about 19. <laughs> and also a little bit 22, and also a little bit 26, and also a little bit... Alright, well, we need to... territory begins here. need to destroy all the totems before I find the beast. It actually appears that we can still technically do either of the options here. So that's interesting. Maybe we do both. Let's see what happens if I approach the altar. We could do a little bit of both. If it's going to let me do both, I'll be I'll be very sure that I finished it by doing a little bit of both. Oh god, look at this little wall. This little What is that fire over there? Um also the cliff back there. This is a very interesting quest. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like I'm going to quite get it all done today. We're going to have to save the Leshen fight for next time. Um, should be right up here. Yep. All right, cool. I need to sacrifice a bunch of wolves' livers here. Hearts? Wolves' hearts here. Oh, I cast Quinn on accident. All right. I want to do this because I want to see how far the... Oh, God. Um... Give me the health. Give me the health. Oh, no. That failed. Ah! I'm so low health. Holy shit. That was close. Okay. Collect wolf hearts. Sure. I'm sort of like, uh, sort of doing a little bit of each way of solving this. Just because the game will let me, and if it'll let me, I want to see what happens, you know? Uh, I need one more wolf heart, apparently. Wait, how does that make sense? Didn't five attack me? Oh, there is one over here, okay. Um, place the offerings on the altar. Okay. Am I missing? Oh, that's, this part's the, this part's the altar. I bet Sven will be pissed if uh, I make his girl leave and also he has to go back to the old ways. Yen, is that you? It says collect your reward from Harold. So I technically didn't even, I technically did not get to, ah, interesting. Okay. So that closes it out. I understand. So in that way, I might for this quest actually do both ways because I am very interested. I'm very invested in the outcome of this quest. Huh, okay. 
Shit. Um, my wife's got dinner ready downstairs, I'm pretty sure. Um, hold up. One second. <laughs> Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go talk to Harold. I'm so invested in the, uh, in this story now that I kind of want to see what happens both ways. Normally, I don't feel that. And, and frankly, uh, normally I don't allow myself to do that. Like, see the outcome one way or the other. But for this quest, I should have thought beforehand that doing the little like offering thing would end the quest because I don't need to battle the Leshin in that case. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk to Harold, see what he says, and then probably reload and go destroy the totems and kill the Leshin. We'll probably do that, that in next episode, but... Uh, I still want to fight the Leshen, and I still want to see the different outcomes. The Leshen accepted my offering. I saw the smoke rise and crows dance in the sky. Everything will return to the old ways. You'll see in a few days. I've done my part. Expecting coin, eh? Don't fret. I've got your gold. Take it. You've earned every last bit. You really want to live in the shadow of a monster. I'm so glad they gave me a chance to ask this question. You do know young boys will continue to die at the Covenant Stone trying to become hunters. The killing will never end. I've not paid you to lecture me. You've done your job. It's time you left. Well, well, Harold. Paying the Witcher behind our backs to sod off and let the monster live. Uh oh. We finished off the other elders. Just one left. Deaths, but another stage in the cycle. I embrace it. Be gone, Witcher, and you can keep your coin. Holy shit. I can't let you kill him. Think murder will change something? You've done your part. Got your coin. What are you waiting for? No monsters left around here. No monsters left around here. The Witcher first. Get him. So, uh, let's see how this goes. Sven, you fucker. Sven's dead. Very interesting. What a quest. Let's see if Harold has dialogue. Saved my life, killer. I'd be a corpse if not for you. <sighs> wow. Let's see if they have any interesting loot. All right. So all of this is is not how this is actually going to go down. Uh, I'm now going to reload. To I believe this save. And maybe one before, but I think this save. The curse that held Very interesting the outcome. So if you choose the old it. way, the, ugliest man alive the young faction in town not man, but elf. is still so upset that. that they killed Avalon, the different elders, even though I have the made an agreement with Lesh the Leshen. The wow. Then hidden her on behalf of the village. The wow. Mists. Very interesting. Uh, okay, so this is the save where we had just gotten the mini, the, the next miniature part to go destroy the Leshen's totems. We're going to do that in the next episode. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I, I look forward to part two of this quest in the next episode. Again, shout out to Rock for this, uh, for this quest recommendation. Holy shit. Big fan. Big fan. And I'm so happy you said something because I wouldn't have chosen it. Um, out of the list of lots of things, I wouldn't have chosen it. But, um... So thank you. Uh, very interesting. We'll continue on in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. A like or a positive comment down below helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.